Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. Good drink o'clock to you, whatever brewery you may be in. SS here, uh, sick from your nightmares, the one with all the stupids. Look, if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it back to show him how pointless it is. Anyway, what do you want, Chris? It's been a hot minute, mate. It's uh, 422, 22. Interesting date. Is it? I mean, it's almost 420, which is the drugs number that makes you cool. But unless it had another part that was 69, I don't think anyone cares. And it just occurred to me that we have a sex number and a drugs number, but where's the rock and roll number? If we don't have one already, I think we should make one, preferably with new numbers. None of those square ass numerals. <sighs> Who built the dome? What the f Aside from that being the greatest sigh in all of human history, what are you talking about? What dome? Oh, right, I nearly forgot. Chris is a flat earther. In fact, not just a flat earther, but seemingly the flat earther, still making shit to this day. At least, that's still easy to find. It's almost impressive. But no, there's no dome, so completely pointless to ask, mate. How do you get to the dome? What's the dome made of? What's beyond the dome? I already told you, Chris. It's nothings. Also, what in the heck is this guard fnuggling aspect ratio? I mean, it's perfectly square, making it not suitable for portrait or landscape. The perfect worthless perspective. Oh, hey, just like your own. <laughs> anyway, fine. <coughs> Fixed. Now you don't look so stupid. Shame that I can't fix how you sound. Is there anything beyond the dome? How high is the dome? Where does it start and where does it begin? Oh, I can at least answer those. Beyond the Dome is a bunch of fighters in post-apocalyptic S&M garb. It's very high, because someone had to be smoking something when they made that, and it begins at zero seconds and ends at about one hour and 47 minutes. Wait, wait, I f***ed up. I thought he meant Beyond Thunderdome. That's a Mad Max movie, and more importantly, exists. It's still a know on everything you believe, mate. Sorry, not sorry. Well, to answer some of those questions, or at least... You know what colour the dome is. What? That wasn't one of the questions. You asked pretty much everything but that. Also, who's they? I mean, right now, the sky, the thing you believe to be a dome, is right there, so you can answer your own damned questions. Don't need any they to do that there, mate. A light blue. And that's what the dome is, right there. Uh, apart from when it isn't, when it's dark, or it's red, or it's orange, or sometimes even green, which apparently means shit's about to go down from what I heard. I mean, it would do that if I farted. Those things are fatal, so it holds up. But Chris, how can a dome that's definitely blue TM be all those other things as well? Maybe it's not what you think it is, hmm? Take a look at it. Enjoy it. You can only see it for a while because they're chemtrailing us again. <laughs> oh, for fig's sake, chemtrails, obviously. So, what other conspiracies you got, see? Let me guess. Fucking all of them. Anything anyone can come up with that means government bad and you get to be clever for knowing the truth, TM. It all must be true because of reasons. Anyway, I hope chemtrails are true and that they're trying to get rid of that stupid bright sunny sky. The sun sucks and I hate it and no one else should enjoy the things I don't like. I think it's only fair. <laughs> sun's about to go away from us. They like to chemtrail right around that time, and they like to do it in the morning when it's coming closer to us. Okay, sure thing, dude. Couldn't possibly be that that's just airplanes and you live in a highly trafficked part of the country. Although then again, no one air travels to New York and or the East Coast by airplane. That would be dumb. You're there. Surely they would be trying to get away. Although that would still explain all the airplanes, so it's kind of moot. But that's what they want. They don't want you to ask those questions. Who? Crisps. Who doesn't want you asking these questions? Is it f***ing nobody? I mean, yeah, sure, there's people that don't want to hear it, and if someone was trying to get you to stop sounding so silly, they might ask you to at least Google the questions before filming yourself looking dumb. But no, no one doesn't want you to ask things. Mostly, they just want you to go away. Not me, though. I think you're f***ing hysterical. Because if... You ask those questions, they have to come up with answers. <laughs> no, they f***ing don't. Although, I suppose the answer is, it's not a dome, so none of those questions make any sense. If anything, we should be asking you that. You need to answer those questions since you're so damned confident of your rightness, and if you can't answer any of them with the confidence you show about everything else you're wrong about, because, well, 
why would you actually ask if you did? So maybe spend some time figuring out why you don't know that and what else you don't know. It's probably going to be a really long list. <clears throat> so they try to keep you as dumb as possible, like a box of rocks. Excuse me, boxes of rocks aren't the dumbest possible things. I mean, flat earthers exist for one, and again, 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 who? I mean, some of the smartest people I know have been tricked into the globe earth. People infinitely smarter than me, and there's not an infinite big enough for how much smarter they are than you. And they aren't in any they, as far as I can tell, so how come they believe it? Is it because maybe they know something you don't? Which isn't hard to do, since you don't know pff, anything? That's gotta be some kind of record. Where your intelligent level is like a fucking gerbil. Your intelligent level is like a fucking gerbil. I mean, that gerbil is getting laid, so it's got to be smarter than you at least. Also, intelligent level, it's marvellous that I don't even got to make you look silly. I am very grateful for you doing my job for me. Because they don't want you to ask those questions. Why would they even care? I mean, they clearly don't care that you ask these questions, these all-powerful they that they are, are literally making people dumb as a rock fucking a gerbil or whatever, and yet you're just allowed to say anything you want. They just let you say the dumbest shit ever, and the worst thing that happens to you is me. Some guy who never ever wants you to stop because this shit is so funny. You know, if it turns out one day the Alubi Booby is real, I'm joining them since it's clearly a club for absolute morons. And I would fit right in. So go get your indoctrination, go get everything that you want, go get your MD, go get this, become even more indoctrinated. MD? Or like medical doctorate? You think doctor doctors are indoctrinated. They aren't actually learning anything and are just as dumb as the rest of us. You know, I think he's right. I mean, heart surgery doesn't work. They just take your heart out, shrug, and then throw it in a bin. 100% casualty rate. And all those oncologists, they aren't even doing anything because you really think that cancer is real. Well, I don't have cancer, as far as I know. Hashtag checkmate atheists. And the less said about general practitioners, the better. I mean... I've had this rash downstairs for a few months. Went to my local doc and he prescribed me with medicine, which I promptly threw away because it doesn't work. And I know it doesn't work because I threw it away and I still have the rash. It has a face now. I call it James. It tells me to burn things, which is weird because it already really burns when I pee. But the one thing is once you become that indoctrinated, you will never ask. Oh shit, this sounds pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. What could it be? What am I, as someone who is an indoctrinated, going to be physically incapable of asking? I mean, if he's right, I'll literally be unable to string the words together because my brain is so melted by the they, them, there. I don't know if I should even listen to it. Who knows the harm that it could do? It could literally kill me. Well, you only live once, might as well die as quickly as possible. Because that's what that means, right? A single question ever again. Or question anything ever again. Wait, what? I mean... The smart indoctrinated doctors alone are always asking questions, mostly along the lines of how the f*** did you fit that into there and how are you still alive after consuming 87 swimming pools of whiskey in one sitting. I mean, it's not even a specific question people can't ask. Well, I am the disappoint. Thought I was finally gonna hear some real deep level woke Mageddon shit, but instead it's an asinine generalization that doesn't even hold up to the mildest amount of scrutiny. Me am the shonked. And that's what most of the population here in Westchester County is. Indoctrinated. <laughs> Just Westchester County. Jesus, dude. Way to throw all your friends, family, and neighbors under the bus. Also, I'm assuming you think that it's the same for all people, and um, no, people ask questions about everything all the time. Humans are incredibly curious critters, and always interested in how the world works. Apart from them, their conspiratorial sorts. They tend to stop at government bad, and regularly God did it for everything else. It really is an athema to understanding. But when you wake up, you'll be asking these questions. Wait, you just said they couldn't possibly ask them, but now they can, but only when they wake up? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, when I've just woken up, I'm pretty hazy and more than a little bit hungover, so I will ask some pretty stupid questions. Mostly along the lines of, what did I do last night? That's a stupid question, because you really, really, really don't want to know. Christ. Okay, God, the creator, has created everything around us. 
What did I f***ing tell you? These people, who are in fact the most indoctrinated of anyone I've ever seen, even when they know you to everyone else, they have absolutely no interest in figuring out anything about the world because they have all the answers already. The earth is flat because God did it. Stop sciencing, you cowards, and just accept that because I don't know anything about anything, I must be right about absolutely everything ever. Okay, he's made it difficult, he or she, whoever it may be, has made it very difficult for us to find out about this stuff. Oh shit, that's interesting. So what, you're deist then? That's actually kind of wild, because, well, if you don't know, deism is believing a god or gods definitely exist, but you don't know which. And considering that statement, I can only assume that's what Chris thinks. And you know what? Give him credit. If that is the case, deism, not the silliest thing in the world. I mean, you still couldn't possibly know that, but at least you aren't holding up one of various, very easily, disprovable books and shouting, THIS AND FACTS! So honestly, kudos. Now, if you could stop being so dumb about everything else, you might even be a tolerable human being. Well, as tolerable as humans can be, which isn't very, obviously. But we can. It's been proven. Because we know they've already been down there, the military, everybody's been down there. They know what, they know what's going on. You did it again! You said one thing and then immediately contradicted yourself. The f man. You said that it's very difficult and then they did it anyway. And I know difficult doesn't mean impossible, but entire gigantic organisations just casually wandering off to have a nosy doesn't exactly sound like there was much in their way. Also, well, what did they find then? I mean, you know they went somewhere, so show us how you know and what they saw. And it better be even remotely convincing slash compelling, otherwise I am going to be exactly the same as I am now, because what is even the point of getting my hopes up, really? They've been trying to figure out the dome for God knows how long now. Trying to figure it out? Yeah, I mean, they just keep flying space rockets right through the fucking thing. So easily, it's almost like it isn't even there. I mean... Where's that old Voyager program these days? All oh, right, beyond the heliosphere of our solar system and headed into interstellar space. Still hasn't bumped into the dome, but you know, any day now, I'm sure. You know, what, what is it made of? Can we penetrate it? <laughs> we can penetrate. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. You're right, Chris. I completely agree with you on this point. No, no, I'm being completely honest and earnest here. I totally agree that we should f the dome. <laughs> Mostly because it doesn't real, but also because it's f***ing funny. Can we do this? Can we do that? I mean, there's stories of people that actually work down there that... Work down where? Oh my god, the vagaries are so infuriating. There's no explanation of the they, there's no description of there. It's all just this insufferable nothing. Also stories, oh yeah, of course, that word that is just a synonym for evidence. I forgotted. You call that... Sky ice, it could be, because sometimes some of the particles fall down. You think that there's a frozen covering of sky ice because sleet, snow and hail exist? The f*** dude. I don't know if you've noticed this, but on days where the ice falls down, it's always, you know, cloudy. Never happens on a bright, shiny day for some reason. Although he does believe in chemtrails, so he probably thinks that they always know when the ice is coming, probably because they're up there digging for f treasure so they put the cloud layers up to hide it from us smart off of the dome i don't know i don't know oh hey the first actually unironically true thing that you've said if only you could follow that path of logic to its end and figure out just how true it is but it's not going to happen anytime soon i'm sure i'm not down there i don't work down there and i don't think i could ever get down there you know why? It's not because they won't let you or someone you know. If you people were as cosmically smart as you think you are, you would easily be able to outsmart the stupids who buy into this nonsense. And even the people controlling them, because apparently they dumb as f**k. You could make something to get there, or infiltrate their order, or do something, anything, to actually prove that you are right. But for some reason you can't do anything of the sort. It's almost like you are completely wrong about it all. Weird that. Because first off, I don't have $15,000 to go piss away and go be chaperoned, okay? I'm sorry, it's only $15,000. Now, don't get me wrong, that is a lot of money, but f there are tons of ways you could get that. I mean, flat earthers have been known to fund all sorts of stupid crap. 
Hell, I would imagine there's more than a few globe heads who would pay towards some kind of controlled fund that would pay to have this apparent chaperoning thing as long as they knew you couldn't just piss off with the money to Vegas or something. Hell, I would throw in a couple of quid just for the memes. But there is no thing to pay that to. That's just another one of your fantasies that put simply will never materialise. Because as with everything you believe, it doesn't real. See, that's the problem, you know. That nothing you believe makes any sense whatsoever. Thanks for finally admitting it. Waka waka. See you all later. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-